Is Israel about to start a war with Hezbollah? Welcome to the Global Factopedia. There is increasing concern about the possibility of Hezbollah, a militant group supported by Iran and based in Lebanon, initiating a full-scale war with Israel. This potential conflict is alarming because it could be significantly more severe and destructive than the recent conflict between Israel and Hamas in Gaza, given Hezbollah's larger size and more advanced capabilities. We highly recommend you subscribe to our channel in order not to miss the latest developments and exclusive reports on the war being carried out by Israel. The conflict between Israel and Palestinians has been going on for decades. But tensions escalated even further on October 7th, when Hamas militants infiltrated and killed over 1,200 Israelis and abducted over 200 civilians, including children and women, taking them back to underground bunkers in Gaza. Israel launched airstrikes and ground operations in Gaza with the stated goals of destroying Hamas and stopping the rocket attacks. Since the onset of the Israel-Hamas conflict five weeks ago, Israeli forces have been engaged in ongoing skirmishes with Hezbollah militants and their associates along Israel's northern border. Since the outbreak of conflict between Israeli forces and Hamas in Gaza following the attacks on 7 October, militants in Lebanon, identified as part of the Shia Islamist group, have intensified their attacks into northern Israel. Although these developments are concerning, the nature of the violence has been perceived by Israel as not escalating to a level that would indicate an imminent full-scale war. While these confrontations were initially limited in scope, their intensity has escalated notably. In significant escalation in hostilities, marked notably by the deployment of an explosive suicide drone for the first time, may be altering the situation. In response to these attacks, the Israeli military conducted airstrikes against Hezbollah positions in Lebanon, in addition to employing tank and artillery fire. This recent activity by Hezbollah has escalated tensions along Israel's northern border to the highest levels seen in the nearly four-week period of unrest, representing the most serious crisis between the two parties since the Lebanon War of 2006. This increase in hostilities is occurring concurrently with Israel's intensified ground offensive in Gaza, specifically targeting Hamas. Fully cognizant of the potential for Hezbollah, backed by Iran, to open a new conflict front against Israel, the United States is actively working to prevent further escalation. This includes the strategic deployment of two heavily armed aircraft carrier strike groups to the region, poised to counter any threats to US interests or allies. Concurrently, substantial diplomatic efforts are in progress. The US is conveying messages to Tehran and Hezbollah, urging restraint to avoid sparking a regional conflict. Iran, which provides funding, training, and equipment to Hezbollah, and the group itself are likely weighing the heavy costs of a regional war against their intention to challenge Israel while it is engaged with the Sunni Islamist group Hamas. This situation reflects a complex and dynamic battlefield, where multiple fronts and groups are involved in the conflict. The Israel Defense Forces IDF, are taking comprehensive measures to ensure preparedness, deploying troops along the northern border with robust air support, while concurrently engaging Hamas in the south. Israel possesses an exceptionally powerful military, in contrast, Hezbollah has a formidable force of about 20,000 full-time fighters and tens of thousands of reservists, along with an extensive array of powerful weaponry. This arsenal significantly surpasses anything in Hamas's possession in terms of strength and capability. Hezbollah's arsenal includes advanced rockets and missiles capable of striking up to 430 miles away, along with precision-guided missiles which are significantly more accurate and lethal than Hamas's rockets. The group also has large reserves of shorter-range munitions and armed drones. The potential for a conflict between Israel and Hezbollah is therefore considerably more perilous and could result in greater bloodshed than the Israel-Hamas conflict. To ditter Hezbollah, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu recently cautioned that any attack from the group would be met with overwhelming force severely impacting both Hezbollah and Lebanon. Despite this warning, Hezbollah's recent escalation suggests they might be disregarding these cautions. 
In a significant escalation of tensions, Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, the chief spokesman for the Israeli military, labeled the recent Hezbollah attack on Israeli civilians as extremely grave. This assault, which took place on Sunday, resulted in injuries to both military and civilian personnel. Specifically, seven Israeli soldiers and ten employees, who were restoring power lines in Dover following earlier strikes, sustained wounds. Hezbollah, in a statement, claimed their guided missiles were directed at an Israeli military logistics unit, allegedly in the process of setting up transmission poles and surveillance equipment near the Dover barracks. This attack marks a critical juncture, particularly as some of the individuals injured are facing life-threatening conditions. Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari, representing the Israeli military, emphasized Israel's dual focus on the ongoing conflict in Gaza and maintaining heightened readiness in the northern region. He conveyed to reporters that Israel is not only deeply engaged in Gaza, but is also prepared to escalate actions in the north if necessary. The military, according to Hagari, has developed specific operational plans aimed at altering the current security situation in northern Israel. He stressed the importance of these plans, highlighting their goal to ensure that civilians living in the northern areas can feel secure and safe enough to return to their homes. This statement underscores Israel's strategic approach to managing multiple fronts and its commitment to civilian safety amidst ongoing regional tensions. In a recent statement, the Israeli military disclosed that seven soldiers from the Israel Defense Forces IDF, sustained minor injuries due to mortar shell attacks in the Manara region of northern Israel. However, the specific location and details about 10 additional individuals injured by rocket explosions and shrapnel were not provided by the Israeli rescue services. Among these casualties, two are reported to be in a critical state. Furthermore, the military reported the detection of 15 rocket launches from Lebanon within the last hour. Of these, four were successfully intercepted by Israeli defense systems, while the remaining rockets landed in uninhabited areas. Hamas military division has openly taken responsibility for the bombardment of Haifa in northern Israel, as well as the Israeli border towns of Nalura and Shlomi, launching their attacks from southern Lebanon. The specifics of these actions, however, were not elaborated upon. In response to these aggressions, Israel conducted strikes on various towns in southern Lebanon, including Yaron, Maiz El Jabal, and Ulma Al Shab. On Sunday night, the Israeli military released footage from an aerial attack, showing their target as what they described as Hezbollah's military facilities. This included a compound which they allege contained a weapons warehouse and other military infrastructure. The Israeli military, however, did not provide further details about these strikes. On Sunday, the United Nations Interim Force in Lebanon, UNIFIL, a peacekeeping contingent stationed in southern Lebanon, reported an incident involving one of its members. This peacekeeper sustained injuries from gunfire near the Lebanese town of al khorza during the night. The origins of the gunfire were not immediately apparent raising questions about whether the peacekeepers were deliberately targeted or inadvertently caught in a crossfire situation. In light of these uncertainties, UNIFIL has initiated an investigation to determine the specifics of the incident and the source of the gunfire. This incident highlights the ongoing tension and cross-border hostilities affecting the region, which could break critical red lines. An escalation with Hezbollah could potentially involve its allies, including Iran, Russia, and Syria, potentially leading to broader regional conflict. If you have not already done so, please subscribe to ensure you get notified when we post our exclusive videos on the conflict.